Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create a sender subscribers on JotForm submission. So here I've created a form using JotForm and in this case I want whenever a new form submission is made in my JotForm, automatically using that details, a new subscriber should be created in my sender account. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect in which we need to connect a trigger and an action. So in this process, our trigger application will be JotForm and our action application will be Sender. So to learn this process step by step, let me take you to my screen. Welcome to my screen. So in this video, we are going to learn how to create a new Sender subscriber on JotForm submission. So in this case, I want whenever a new form submission is made in my JotForm, automatically using that detail, a new subscriber should be created in my sender account. So to automate this process, we will use an automation software named as Pabli Connect. This is the homepage of Pabli Connect. You can visit this page by simply browsing for the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here you can see two options that are sign in and sign up free. If you're a new user, click on sign up free and get 300 tasks every month to explore the software. And if you're an existing user, click on sign in. Here I'm an existing user, so I'm clicking on sign in. After signing in, you can see all Pabli apps window where you can see all the applications of Pabli. Here to integrate my applications, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. This is the dashboard of Fabric Connect. Here you can see a create workflow button on the top right corner. Here to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this button. Now here in this create workflow dialog box, we have to give a name to our workflow. So here I'm going to give the name as create sender subscribers on JotForm submission. And now I'm going to select my folder as automations. You can select your folder as per your need. Also, you can create multiple folders to save your workflows accordingly. And now to create a new workflow, I'm going to click on this create button. Now here in this workflow window, you can see we have successfully created a workflow with the name Create Sender Subscribers on JotForm Submission. And here you can see two most important principles of an automation process that are trigger and action. Where trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means action is a response towards a trigger. Your automation can have a single trigger but multiple action steps. Now let's begin with our automation by simply setting up a trigger. So here I'm going to select my trigger application as JotForm and my trigger event as new response. And here you can see we have received a webhook URL. That means we will use this webhook URL to connect our JotForm account with Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to copy this webhook URL. And now following the instructions given below, here I've already logged in in my JotForm account. From here I'm going to select my desired form which is named as new form. And from here I'm going to click on this more. And then I'm going to select settings. Now here under form settings, I'm going to select integrations. And under integrations, I'm going to select webhooks. Here I'm going to click on this edit integration. And from here, I'm going to remove this previously existing link. And then I'm going to add a new webhook URL. Now after entering the new webhook URL, here I'm going to click on this complete integration. And here you can see it says integration ready. So now I'm going to click on this finish. And then I'm going to click on this preview form. And here you can see the form which I have created which has some fields such as name, email and phone number. So now moving back to Pabli window. Here you can see as it is waiting for webhook response. That means here to receive a webhook response we need to do a test submission. And to do a test submission we need to submit a new response in our JOT form. So for that let me take you back to my JOT form. Here I'm going to enter a dummy data and do a test submission. So for the first name here I'm going to enter the name as dummy. Last name as user. Email as tummy123 at the rate pabletudes.com and a random phone number for country code plus 91 for phone number and now I'm going to click on the submit and here you can see it says your submission has been received so now let's move back to Pabli window and here you can see we have successfully captured a response where we have received the phone number, email, last name, first name and other details so with this we have successfully set up our trigger now let's move to action step. Here I'm going to select my action application as sender and my action event as create a subscriber. And now to connect my sender account with Pabli Connect, here I'm going to click on this connect. 
Here to build a new connection, I'm going to click on add new connection. If your sender account is already connected with Pabli Connect, then you can click on select existing connection. And now here to build a new connection, it is asking me to give a name to my connection. So here I'm going to give the name as short form submission. And now it is asking for token. So here in the instructions, it says enter the access token to get token, log in to sender and go to settings and then API access token. So here I've already logged in in my sender account. From here, I'm going to click on the settings. And now under settings, I'm going to select API access token. Here I'm going to click on this create API token. And here it is asking for how long token will be valid. So here for the validity, I'm going to select one day because here I'm doing a test record, but you can select the validity as per your need. And now I'm going to click on this create. And here you can see we have successfully created our API access token. So here I'm going to click on this copy token. Moving back to Pabli window, here I'm going to paste the token. So here after entering the details, I'm going to click on the save. And here you can see we are successfully connected. So now moving forward, here it is asking for email, first name, last name, phone number and other details. So here instead of entering data manually, here I will map the data. Mapping data means insert data from previous step. That means here I will map the data from the response I have received in my JOT form. Mapping makes our text dynamic so that whenever a new response is captured in our JOT form, automatically this previously existing details will be updated with the new one. So here I'm going to map the email. Here I'm going to map the first name. Here I'm going to map the last name, moving forward. And here I'm going to map the phone number, first area code, and then phone number, moving forward. Here for the group, I'm going to select the group which I've created with the name Pabli Connect. So here instructions, it says select the group to which the subscriber will be added. So here I want the subscriber should be added to my group named as Pabli Connect. So here I've selected the group moving forward. And here for the trigger automation, in instructions, it says this property by default, it's true. You can send it as false if you want not to active an automation. So again, here for the trigger automation, I'm going to select true because I want to activate this automation. And now after entering all the details, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see we have successfully received a response. So now let's go and check our sender account. And here in all subscribers, you can see we have successfully created a subscriber with the email dummy123 at the rate pablitudes.com under group Pabli Connect and first name as dummy, last name as user and a random phone number. So with this, we have successfully set up our automation. Now let's test our automation to check whether it is working or not. So to test our automation, we need to submit another response in our JOT form. So for that, let me take you back to my JOT form. Here I'm going to refresh this window. And here I'm going to enter another dummy data and do a test submission. So here for the first name, I'm going to enter the name as test, last name as lead, email as test123 at the rate pabritudes.com. For the phone number, country code plus 91 and a random phone number. And now I'm going to click on the submit. And here you can see it says your submission has been received. So now let's go and check our sender account. Here I'm going to refresh this window. And here you can see we have successfully created a new subscriber with the email as test123 at the rate pablitudes.com under the group Pabli Connect, first name as test, last name as lead and a random phone number. So with this, we have successfully tested our automation. Now let me summarize this whole video for you. So here we have taken our trigger as dot form and our action as sender. So that whenever a new form submission is made in our dot form, automatically using that detail, a new subscriber should be created in our sender account. If you want to use the same workflow, then you can find the clone link in the description box below. I hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching. Not only these applications, you can integrate many other applications with Pabli Connect. If you have any doubt, you can contact us on support at zaritpabli.com. If you have any query, you can contact us on forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, then you can contact us on www.pabli.com. If you like the video, please subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.